Top 20 Network Architect Interview Questions and Answers If you are in the IT field, a network architect may be one of the possible careers that you may be interested in. This article provides 20 interview questions and answers if you are applying for the job. 1. Why are you interested in this job? This question is to see if the candidate has thought about the career properly. Sample answer. I hold a bachelor's degree in IT. I've always enjoyed working with computers and this position is what I have sought all this while. This is a great opportunity for me to grow my career. I believe I could further develop my skills and contribute my knowledge here. 2. What are the roles of a network architect? Candidates should be familiar with the tasks of the position offered. Sample answer. A network architect is responsible to develop technology roadmaps. They are also tasked to perform analysis, modeling, and planning to come up with the framework and solutions to the technical network. Besides developing, it is also their job to regularly monitor the data communication systems. 3. What are the qualities that a network architect should possess to be effective? The interviewers would like to see if candidates are familiar with the tasks and if they possess the qualities needed. Sample answer. To become an effective network architect, one must be an organized person since they have to attend to various tasks. Analytical skills are also needed since they have to probe into data and come up with the best solutions for it. They also need to be able to work individually and cooperate well in groups when it is needed. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you handle it? Aside from looking at candidates' experience, it also displays candidates' problem-solving skills. Sample answer. The major challenge I had was poor network performance. Network performance is not limited to speed only but also reliability. The previous workplace was not equipped with the best equipment to keep up and provide the best high-speed communication. On days with bad weather, it was worse. We had to attend to other tasks if the network was very poor those days. 5. Describe your daily routine as a network architect. An effective employee should be able to maximize their productivity and performance on a daily basis. Sample answer. I will check if any unfinished tasks need to be attended to. If yes, I will focus to finish those jobs first. I will then proceed to my tasks, organized according to the deadlines and urgency of the tasks. 6. Describe briefly your job experience as a network architect. Interviewers would like to see candidates' experience in the field offered. Sample answer. I was in charge of designing computer networks, which include local area networks, internet connection, and other data communication systems. Our goals were to provide effective and affordable infrastructures that could support business goals in the long term while also abiding by the financial allocated. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? Asking this question will display candidates' level of preparedness to be assigned with the position. Sample answer. I always set my mind that working in this industry does not limit my task to working with computers only. A well-balanced network architect is rare but not impossible, and I strive to be a person who is capable of doing all tasks needed to become an effective network architect. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? This is another question that could display candidates' level of preparedness and problem-solving skills. Sample answer. The challenge that I always foresee in this job is flexibility. The industry does not stay the same forever. All people involved in this field have to anticipate growth and adapt to new things most of the time. Failure to keep up will result in being left behind by other employees and other competitors. It is advised to always keep up to date and familiarize myself with new components and devices. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? Being motivated at the workplace is important to ensure the success of the tasks and the long term of working for the company. Sample answer. I'm someone who likes to learn and try new things. Getting too used to one software, for example, bore me and often reduce my motivation. Hence, I will always explore new technologies and software. This is motivating as it displays that I keep on unlocking new skills. To make it more presentable, I often jot down what are the accomplishments that I strive to meet in a certain time. 10. Describe a time you failed in this role and a lesson you learned. Admitting mistakes and failures may display that the candidates can learn from their mistakes to become better and more competent. Sample answer. I was one of the persons involved in a new project at my previous workplace. 
As a new employee, I was quite ambitious and insisted that I could finish a task earlier than the time allocated. However, I did not manage to finish it on time. That experience taught me that I should be realistic in setting my goals, not rashly decide without full consideration of the difficulty of the tasks. 11. Have you ever had a conflict with your team? What do you do to resolve the conflict? This experience will display if candidates can face and solve conflict professionally. Sample answer. There was one time where some of our members were divided between decisions. The conflict was quite trivial, but affected the group morale. We addressed the conflict by admitting that the problem was there. We had a group discussion to list down what are the pros or cons of resorting to the suggestions before. After getting to the list, we had group voting. We managed to proceed with the action with the consensus of the majority of the members. 12. What do you think is the definition of success for a network architect? Candidates' answers may display what type of employees are they. One who worked just to earn a living or someone who has goals in their mind. Sample answer. I think the success of a network architect could be defined through their cooperation in following the design network. The other success lies in the command of the tools used in monitoring network. 13. How do you organize your tasks in case there was a lot of work to be done at the same time? Organizational skill is one of the most common qualities sought by employers. Sample answer. If possible, I would try to work with several teammates to ensure that the job could be done perfectly. I will organize the tasks according to urgency and toughness. If one task is due in a short duration, I will focus on that task first. Asking for help from teammates is also important because rushing through the work alone may not produce good quality work. 14. What have you learned from mistakes done by another network architect in the past? Avoid downgrading the people involved, but try to get a positive outlook on the issue. Sample answer. One example of mistake I saw was working alone in a project. That person insisted to work alone and refuse any group assistance. The result was quite unsatisfactory as he had to rush through the work alone. That experience taught me to be able to collaborate effectively with my teammates to ensure the success of the project. 15. What do you think is your biggest weakness as a network architect? Candidates should be aware of their weaknesses, but avoid pinpointing weakness directly on the main roles of the position offered. Sample answer. My biggest concern is my lack of interpersonal skills. Years of working on the computer and limited interaction with people affect my presentation skills. I always have a hard time presenting my ideas. However, I am now taking up a consultation with an acquaintance to improve myself on this skill. I also try to provide as much visual aid as possible to ensure the message gets across. 16. What are your steps to troubleshoot whenever your network configuration is not as expected? This question will display candidates' analytical and problem-solving skills. Sample answer. I will first identify if there is high network activity any hardware failures, or other probable cause that weighs slowed down the network performance. I will then use tools to analyze and monitor the network to probe more into the problem. If it is beyond my capabilities, I will need to ask assistance from technicians or administrators. 17. How do you minimize data loss when designing a network? Candidates should be able to come up with the right measures to secure the data in the company. Sample answer. The measure that must be done regularly is by backing up data. It is recommended to keep more than one backup data in separate disks. The other measure is by choosing the right antivirus and firewall that can handle the security and the size of the data. 18. Can you work with other departments or stakeholders while using resources? Being able to collaborate with other people is also an important quality sought by companies. Sample answer. Yes, I can. In my previous workplace, I had to actively collaborate with the development team in my job. I am confident with my communication and skills to work with other people even from a different department. 19. What are your strategies in scaling networks to accommodate the needs of the company? Interviewers seek candidates who can align their personal goal along with the needs of the company. Sample answer. I will pay attention to the communication platform that supports flexibility. It should be able to accommodate to peak traffic periods. The other strategy is by utilizing a managed edge provider. This can ease the process of scaling and upgrading the network. It is also accessible from multiple locations while having strong security as well. 20. What do you do to keep yourself up to date with the innovations in this industry? Candidates should have the initiatives 
and be dedicated to learn about new technologies and innovation happening in the industry. Sample answer. I am actively involved with groups of local network workers to keep up with the latest innovation and technology. Besides that I also frequently look for reliable sources or news to learn about new network innovations. Aside from local ones, I also enjoy learning about innovations at a global level. Conclusion It is important to be fully prepared before going for an interview. This article may be one of your references if you are applying for a network analyst position. We wish you the best of luck for your interview.